Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Dr. Neha. So uh, today we're going to look at another PYQ in just one minute. So um, before we begin, there's a small heads up for all of you. We are starting a FMG batch course on Unacademy from the 21st of July. So if you want, you can subscribe and learn from your wonderful educators. Okay, so the question which was a PYQ was a study had a normal distribution with the median value as 200 and a standard deviation of 20. 68% observations will fall between. So that was the MCQ. Now, this is a very, very important question. This is from the topic of normal distribution. Now, if you have a normal distribution curve, you all know what is the shape of a normal distribution curve. If you have to write its point, it is bell shaped, it is symmetrical. What does symmetrical mean? Symmetrical means that if a perpendicular is drawn at the midpoint over here, is dropped at the midpoint then exactly 50% of observations are going to be above and 50% below. So here exactly there will be 50% observations above and 50% below. Now what is this red point called as? This red point is called as point of coincidence. At the point of coincidence what is the coincidence? It's that mean is equal to median is equal to mode. Now this could be anything but when mean is equal to median is equal to mode it says zero then it is referred to as a standard normal curve. Even this question comes what is mean when mean is equal to median is equal to mode is equal to zero what is it called? It's called as a standard normal curve. Yaha point of coincidence mein mean median mode kuch bhi ho sakta hai. It can be equal to 15, 20, 25 but when it's equal to zero it's known as a standard normal curve. And 50% observations are above and 50% below. That means 0.5 are dispersed to the right, 0.5 to the left. So total dispersion in case of a standard uh, normal curve becomes total dispersion over here becomes 0.5 plus 0.5 which is 1. So for a standard normal curve, the first thing that you must understand for a standard normal curve, all right, mean is equal to median is equal to mode is equal to zero and standard deviation is one. Now in this only, when we drop a perpendicular like this, okay, this first perpendicular is going to cut my base at a distance of one standard deviation on either side. Similarly, if I draw a perpendicular from here, this is going to cut it at a distance of two SD on either side. Similarly, over here, it's going to cut it at a distance of 3 SD on either side. Are you understanding? And for a standard normal distribution curve, we say mean plus minus 1 SD is equal to 68% observations. Mean plus minus 2 SD is equal to 95%. Mean plus minus 3 SD is equal to 99%. What are these 1, 2 and 3? These are actually the Z scores or the relative deviates. 2 jam likhte it's actually 1.96 but hum log usko round off kar dete Alright so over here if you see mean plus 1 minus 1 SD covers 68. So here your mean or median is 200 plus minus 1 SD will be 20. So this is going to become how much? 180 to 220. So your answer becomes this. If it was asked mean plus minus 2 SD then you would have done 200 plus minus 2 into 20. Alright because it is 2. If it was 3 then you would have done 200 plus minus 99% uh, ke liye 3 SD. So 3 say multiply kar dete aap 20 ko. I hope you understood this. Thank you so much for watching.